Hello, this is David and welcome to Make Me Proud, the video series sharing the story of my campaign to become a better sprint swimmer. And in this episode, we're going to be conducting a season review and having a look at all the progress that I've made over the past 12 months. So if you would give this video a like, I would very much appreciate it. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page so that you know of whenever I upload any new videos. New Make Me Proud episodes come out every Sunday evening, but otherwise, without any further ado, let's dive right in to today's episode. So starting with my favourite event, the Splash and Dash, otherwise known as the 50 metres freestyle. So coming in to 2023, my personal best was a 29.33 seconds, which I actually set in 2021, back in October of that year, at Masters Nationals. So I hadn't had a great 2022 where I failed to improve on that personal best. The best that I managed to do in 2022 was a very close 29.38, so 0.5 seconds off, but still I made no progress over that year. However, come 2023, I started smashing my 50 meters freestyle personal best and have managed to take a whole second off of that 29.33, where in Madeira, I was able to go a 28.31. So incredibly happy. A second in the 50 meters freestyle is just absolutely rapid. A little bit more than a second if you uh, account for uh, that time back in 2022. I took a full second off going from nationals to nationals, a, a second right to the 100th. Um, so yeah, incredibly happy with my performance in the 50 meter freestyle. Yeah, so in that in in that in that event, it's been a fantastic year. So moving on to an event that I have a love hate relationship with, and although it's not my favourite event, like the fifty meters freestyle, it's probably the event that I care the most about, and that is naturally the one hundred meters freestyle, where I entered this year having set a previous personal best of 104.41 seconds, which I swam at the South Yorkshire Masters Swimming Champs in November of 2022. So that I had managed to improve on my personal best from uh, Masters Nationals in 2021. However, not at Masters Nationals of 2022, but in the subsequent South Yorkshire Masters Championships just two weeks later. So unlike the 50 metres free, I had had a little bit more of a successful 2022 in that regard. So I entered this year, as you probably very well know, of trying to break the one minute mark. So that's to go a 59 point or quicker. And unfortunately, I was unable to achieve that this year. However, despite that, I've managed to take off an incredible chunk uh, of that four second, four and a half seconds over the minute mark, bringing that all the way down to a 101.26. So instead of being four and a half seconds off of that minute mark, instead, I'm only one and a quarter. So I've taken a, a full three and a quarter, yeah, three and a quarter seconds off of that previous personal best, which naturally I did back in Madeira. It was looking a bit wobbly uh, whether I would beat my 100 meters personal best set in toll cross of the 101.88, which I set in April. Um, things didn't go right for me at Ponds Forge where I had three opportunities to break that and I took none of them. However, it was down to my final competition of the year where I just absolutely smashed it, taking a full uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 seconds off of that PB from April. And as a result, I'm incredibly chuffed. So whilst I wasn't able to get that 59 point, um, ultimately I cannot be too unhappy with having taken a whole three seconds off of my 100 meters freestyle. So this is probably the event that has been my most successful this year.
So moving on to an event that I do intriguingly well in, despite the fact how little that I train for it. And that is of course the 50 meters fly, where I entered 2023 with a personal best of 32.86 seconds, which again, I set in November of 2022 at the South Yorkshire Masters Swimming Championships. And 2023 has gone incredibly well with regards to my 50 meters fly, where I managed to bring that time down to a 30.57 seconds, knocking a whole 2.3 seconds off of my 50 meters fly. Obviously that personal best was set at uh, in October at Masters Nationals, just and I'm just speechless with how much I've taken off of that 50 meters fly, especially uh, given how little training that I do for it. Most of what I do focuses on freestyle, be it freestyle sprints. And so I only ever do maybe one 50 meters fly um, a week uh, just to make sure that I've got the feel for it, keep it ticking over. Um, but maybe there's something in that. Maybe uh, with what I do in the 50 meters fly, less is more. And it's, yeah, I'm just absolutely outstanding that I've managed to reduce that time so much. So yeah, next year, uh, we're looking good for a sub 30 seconds, 50 meters fly. Pretty sure that's gonna be one of my goals for next year. But um, yeah, actually, I did, I did say that my 100 was probably my most successful event. However, um, I'm gonna correct myself and say it's actually my 50 fly, because 2.3 seconds over 50, um, yeah, is better, than, is better than a 3.25 over a 100. So just, yeah, just absolutely gobsmacked at how well that has gone for me this year. And then moving on to my final major event, the 200 meters freestyle. Naturally, I swim this one less than the other three. However, still made rather good improvements in this event this year. So going into 2023, I had a personal best time of two minutes, 22.25. Similar to the 50 meters freestyle in that I actually set this at Masters Nationals of 2021 and failed to improve that time over 2022. So not too good a 2022 as far as the 200 meters freestyle was concerned. However, come Masters Nationals 2023, I absolutely obliterated that time and managed to PB not just once, but twice. Firstly at Masters Nationals back in October, and then again uh, at Europeans in Madeira, where my final uh, personal best time ended up being a two minutes, 18 point four seven. So I've taken off, I need to do the maths, I need to look at the numbers to, to do the maths. Um, yeah, a whole three seconds um, out of it. Yeah, nearly, yeah, 3.3.7 seconds there, which, you know, is absolutely incredible. Not quite as good as my 100 meters because I took 3.3 seconds off there. So for a 200, in theory, I should be able to double uh, what I'm able to take off my 100. So that kind of, uh, leads me to believe that there is uh, more to scrape off there. Um, and based on how I swam those PBs, again, I think that that is the same. At Masters Nationals, I went out a little bit too slow um, and came back with uh, a little bit of energy in the tank. So I think that there was more fuel to burn there. Um, and then in Madeira, I did the opposite and went out too fast and burnt out too early. So I think if I manage to get that spot on, then... Uh, I will be able to bring that time even further and, you know, probably looking at a 215-ish 215, uh, 215 there. However, given the fact that I don't really train for the 200 metres freestyle, I chuck it in at Masters Nationals uh, just because I've got a qualifying time for it and I can. It's just to thicken out uh, that competition a little bit more. Um, I've definitely got to be happy with, uh, first off, a personal best, but not only that, but knocking a whole 
uh, 3.7 seconds off of that personal best. So maybe a little bit more intention into the 200 meters next year and I can really bring that time down even further um, without an awful lot of effort. However, once again, a very successful uh, 2023 for my 200 meters. Um, and yeah, rather ecstatic with how the year has gone. So overall, it's been an incredibly successful 2023 where I'm really happy with the improvement in my swim times across all of my major events. A little bit disappointed not to have broken that mini, uh, minute mark in the 100 meters freestyle. However, to have taken 3.3 seconds off of it, um, yeah, really, really chuffed with how that's actually gone. And you know, that's for the level of effort that I've put in, 3.3 seconds is um, really rewarding. So that's, you know, it's nothing to be, um, uh, nothing to be too disappointed in. And similarly, it just means that next year, um, I can get really excited about the 100 meters freestyle because if I continue uh, my level of effort and just keep going at it, keep going at it, I know that uh, 2024 is going to be the year that I finally break that. So um, absolutely, fingers crossed for that. Um, otherwise, thank you very much for watching and conducting this season review with me. I've been David Westcoff and I'll see you again next time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page so that you know of whenever I upload any new videos. Similarly, who else might enjoy this video? Please share in the swimming fun by either tagging them in the comments below or clicking on the share button. Otherwise, check out westcoff.com.